Introducing the Tokyo Kogaku RE Auto Top Core, 58mm f1.4, Standard Prime Lens. Renowned among collectors and connoisseurs of vintage lenses, for exceptional image rendering performance, it is considered by some to be among the best high-speed normal lenses of its era. In Japan, the Topcore 58mm 1.4 has obtained legendary status and developed a cult-like following. Considered a masterpiece of optical design by enthusiasts, performance and character rendering is claimed to surpass period lens offerings from Zeiss, Lights, Nikon, and Canon. Superb sharpness, subtle contrast, precise distinctive and natural rendition of details, pastel colors, enhanced three-dimensional pop and textures that are the best in the world, are just some of the assertions made by TopCon forum members. Whether it be hyperbole, or merely errors in translation, an underlying sentiment permeates that the TopCore 58mm 1.4 remains a timeless classic. It was a lens so revered by Hirofumi Kobayashi, CEO of Casino, that in 2003, some 40 years after its initial release, and under the blessings of Tokyo Optical, a limited reproduction run of 1,600 lenses were produced by Casino, complete with Topcore engravings, albeit manufactured to a modified optical and physical design. And yet, in the broader international photographic community, the original Topcore 58mm 1.4 remains a lens of relative obscurity, underappreciated, and undervalued. Manufactured in Japan by Tokyo Kogaku Kikai Kabashiki Kaisha, the Topcore 58mm 1.4 lens was launched in March 1963 at the 8th inaugural Photokina Fair in Cologne, West Germany. Specified the premium kit lens option for the revolutionary and historically significant Topcon RE Super, the first commercially marketed 35mm SLR camera to incorporate through the lens metering. Founded in September 1932, Tokyo Optical Company Limited, as translation for Tokyo Kogaku, was Japan's second oldest specialized manufacturer of optical goods. The Topcon name, as nomenclature for Topcon lenses, was first used in 1953, upon release of the Topcon 8cm f5.6, an interchangeable telephoto lens for the Topcon 35A viewfinder camera. It was a name that would become synonymous with the finest in optical quality. Topcon cameras would be rebranded for export as Bessler Topcon, and distributed by Charles Bessler Company in the United States, from 1957 through 1973. And among the most elusive of RE supermodels, in 1965 a limited production allocation was branded as the Hanamex Topcon RE Super, for sale in the United Kingdom. The Topcon name would remain a constant, for branding of domestic and export designated Topcon lenses. Incorporating a modified planar double gauss design, the RE Auto Topcore 58mm 1.4 lens is constructed with seven elements in five groups, with six diaphragm blades. Designated as standard prime lens for full-frame applications, the aperture range falls from 1.4 through f16. Launched in silver chrome finish, black paint was optioned from 1964. At minimum focus extension, the lens measures 49 mm from the mount, increasing to 59 mm at the close focus setting. The lens diameter is 67 mm. Lens weight is variant dependent, ranging from 300 to 368 grams. The filter size is 62 mm. The minimum focus distance is 45 cm, the diagonal angle of view is 40.9 degrees, and the maximum reproduction ratio is 1 to 5.6. Assigned order code 82004, the top core bayonet type metal lens hood is specific to the 58mm 1.4 variant. The lens hood measures 74 by 29mm and weighs 40 grams. Application of a magnesium fluoride single lens coating characteristically exhibits front element reflections of magenta or cyan. It is speculated that the RE abbreviation, as prefixed to the top core lens name designation, references the letter R for reflex, and E for exposure. An acknowledgement of the key technological advancements that serve to elevate top con cameras, above the competition of the time. 
The inclusion of the word auto in the lens name designation is reference to the incorporation of a fully automatic lens diaphragm mechanically coupled to the mirror meter. Metering is taken at full aperture prior to automatically stopping down to the predetermined aperture setting for image capture. For mirrorless and DSLR adapted applications, the auto function serves no purpose. Confirmed serial numbers range from 940001 through 11253730. Total lens production numbers are unknown. Extrapolated estimates indicate an output of between 25 and 30,000 units. Superseded in 1973, upon launch of the REGN Topcore M 50mm 1.4. Production of the 58mm 1.4 lens is believed to have ended in 1971. Although uncertainty remains as to the final production date, with availability of new lenses documented for sale as late as July 1983. Lens production is broadly classified into two model types. The change in lens focal length engravings from 5.8 cm to 58 mm in 1965, designating the transition from early to late production series. Six variations of internal and cosmetic design were made throughout production, including modifications to marker engravings, edging of the rubber focus ring, and mounting surface indentations. The Topcore RE bayonet type lens mount is specific to the Exacta system, introduced by the German manufacturer EHG upon release of the Kine Exacta 35mm SLR camera in 1936. First implemented by Tokyo Kogaku upon release of the Topcon R in 1957, it is speculated specification of the Exacta mount was in recognition that the Exacta system was the preferred choice of professional photographers of the era. The Exacta flange focal distance is 44.7 mm. Designated code EXA, Exacta mount lens adapters are available for Canon, Nikon, Sony, Leica, and Fujifilm cameras. Where the intended adapted flange focal distance exceeds 44.7 mm, infinity focus is not possible without the inclusion of a lens correcting element within the adapter. For Nikon F, Pentax K, Leica S, and Olympus OM camera mounts, incorporation of a meniscus lens within the adapter is required to enable full focusing functionality. However, as adapted, the lens angle of view correlates to an 81.2 mm equivalent focal length, the effective aperture value is reduced by one stop, and image quality is said to be significantly compromised. When adapted to Canon full-frame EF mount cameras, protrusion of the top core lens rear metal housing is known to interfere with the mirror path. With just 7 mm allowance between EXA and EF flange focal distance, the use of lenses retrofitted to M42 specification will facilitate full mirror functionality on Canon EF mount cameras. Characteristic to the Exacta bayonet type design, a high degree of manufacturing precision is required to ensure adapters mount tightly to lenses. Tolerances on cheaper unbranded adapters can prove problematic. Light leaks and lens wobbling may result. This is a fully manually controlled lens when adapted to modern mirrorless and DSLR cameras. There are no electrical contact points between the lens and camera body. Operations that would otherwise rely on electronic communication between the camera and lens, including auto exposure metering and image stabilization, will not function. EXIF data is not transferable. In 1963, the combined list price of the Topcon RE Super and Auto Topcore 58mm 1.4 standard prime lens was 420 US dollars. Adjusted for inflation, the price equivalent in 2023 is 4174 US dollars. Among the more expensive 35mm format options available and offering a comprehensive array of Topcore lenses and accessories. It was a system aimed squarely at professional photographers. Purchased independently, the Topcore 58 1.4 lens retail list price in December 1964 was 191 US dollars, equating to a 2023 price equivalent of 1874 US dollars and exceeding both Nikon and Canon's fast 1.4 lens offerings at the time. 
In 2023, availability of top core 58mm 1.4 lenses on eBay and Japanese auction sites is limited. Such rarity is believed in part due to the value held by enthusiasts. Top core lenses tend not to be purchased or traded for speculative financial gain. And specific to the 58mm 1.4 variant, once obtained, they are rarely parted with. Transacted sales prices in early 2023, for lenses in working condition, range from 200 to 550 US dollars. Asking prices from dedicated eBay retail stores, extend upward to 1000 US dollars. Black paint versions command a premium, and availability of lenses in mint condition, is rare. Where cameras and lenses are often combined for sale as a single listing, widening one search criteria to include Topcon and Bessler Topcon 35mm cameras, can increase positive search results for Topcore lenses. Adding to confusion, Casino replicas from 2003 are often included in search results. With similarities in appearance and name only, these are not the same lens. Topcore 58 1.4 lenses are commonly sold without their original metal lens hood. And finding hoods for separate acquisition can prove difficult. Purchased independently, lens hood pricing when available ranges from 50 to 150 US dollars. Although visually similar, due to differences in lens diameter, Casina's lens hood and Topcore's 58 1.8 variant will not fit the original 58 1.4 lens bayonet mount. Due to relative obscurity, when compared to period flagship standard prime lenses from more recognizably known manufacturers, prices for the Topcore 58mm 1.4 lens remain comparatively low. The Topcore 58mm 1.4 lens build quality is exceptional. Highly acclaimed among professional photographers of the time, in 1963, it was a design years ahead of its competition. In 2023, some 60 years later, the experience of using a Topcore 58mm 1.4 in premium condition can be compared favorably to that of modern high-end lenses. The lens barrel, lens mount and aperture rings are of solid metal construction. Internal components are machined from aluminium, brass and metal. Believed to be the first of its type, the wide striated, rubberized focusing ring is optimally placed for precise, unsighted adjustments. Unremarkable by today's standards, the incorporation of a rubber ring in 1963 was a revolutionary advancement in ergonomics that set a precedent other manufacturers would follow in the years to come. It would take Nikon over 11 years to incorporate a rubber focus ring into a lens design, with the launch of the K-Type Nikkor 50mm 1.4 in August 1974. The Topcore 58 1.4 lens focus ring rotates smoothly through 300 degrees. The mechanical movement exhibits a sublime viscous tactility, and Topcore enthusiasts proclaim there is a sense of luxury in operation. The exceptionally long focus throw facilitates precise and accurate focusing. However, where advantageous for obtaining critical focus on static and slow-moving subjects, the long throw can prove limiting for applications requiring quick focus adjustments. It is a lens unsuited to fast-moving sports or rapid street photography applications. The aperture ring rotates freely, and aperture positions are marked with light yet discernible click stops. There is no de-click function for video application. Exuding in elegance, the lens layout and design is clean, clear and intuitive, movements are fluid, tactile and precise. Of note, the Topcore 58 f1.4 lens is inherently prone to accumulation of oil on the diaphragm blades. Characteristic to the lens design, the aluminium helical required generous lubrication. Whilst advantageous in facilitating exceptionally smooth focus movements, the short path between the helical and diaphragm lends itself to vulnerability. And where Topcon would innovate with the incorporation of a rubber focus ring. In context, plastics and rubber production technology of the early 1960s was in its relative infancy. Topcore RE rubber focus rings 
are inherently prone to severe degradation, defamation, tackiness, and cracking. Whilst cosmetically distracting, there is no impact on optical performance. Where Tokyo Kogaku would designate the 58 1.4 standard lens. It is often referred to by users as a short telephoto. Known for providing a grounded naturalistic image rendering and a sense of simplicity and rawness, standard lenses feel neither intrusive nor detached. Applications include fashion, documentary, lifestyle, landscape and general studio photography. Mounted to crop sensor cameras, the angle of view will approximate that of an 85mm lens focal length. Period alternatives for 58mm 1.4 lenses are limited to the Minolta Auto Rockor PF 58 1.4 and the Nikon 5.8cm 1.4s Auto NKJF. Fast 58mm 1.2 lens alternatives available in the early 1960s included the Super Kanematic R58 1.2, the Canon FL58 1.2, the Zunao Optical 58 1.2, and the Tamron Model 380 Taika Harrigan 58 1.2. In 1963, Tokyo Kogaku contemporaneously released the Auto Topcore 5.8 cm 1.8 and the RE Macro Auto Topcore 3.5 58mm lens. As a side note to the history of Topcon cameras, in the mid-1960s through early 1970s, the Topcon RE Super and subsequent Topcon Super D and DM were chosen as the official cameras of the United States Navy. Selected in preference to the Nikon F, military tests concluded Topcon cameras to have better construction, ergonomics, and functionality relative to their competition. And specific to lens performance, the Topcore 58mm 1.4 lens was deemed to be sharper than offerings from Nippon Kogaku and German lens manufacturers of the time. Topcore lenses manufactured for Navy procurement are identified by the inclusion of the letter N, preceding the aperture designation engraving on the front lens ring and incorporation of an ancillary focus knob on the lens barrel. However, where top cores 58 1.8, 35mm 2.8, 100-135mm 2.8s, and 87-205mm 4.7 zoom lenses are documented in military application. Existence of top core 58mm 1.4 lenses with Navy N marked engravings is unconfirmed. Topcon cameras and top core lenses are also documented in use throughout the 1970s by the U.S. Army Signal Corps, selected American police and government departments, and the FBI. In December 2003, Kabushiki Geisha Casino, owner of the Voigtlander trademark, released a limited edition replica of the Topcore 58mm 1.4 lens. In total, 1,600 units were produced, with 800 units allocated each to Nikon AI and M42 mount specification. Manufactured with the consent of Topcon Corporation, the lenses are similar in markings and external physical appearance only. Notably, the Casina lens features a new optical and mechanical design with six groups and nine diaphragm blades, compared to the original Topcore's five group six blade design. And the aperture and focus rings rotate in opposite directions. Further differentiated, the Casina lens weighs 305 grams, the lens diameter is reduced from 67 to 63.5 millimeters, the filter size is reduced from 62 to 58 millimeters, and multi-coating is specified. A tribute lens for all intents and purposes, although collectible for their rarity and highly regarded in their own right, Casina replicas are identifiable from lens engravings, stating made in Japan by Casina Company Limited. The 2003 Casina 58mm 1.4 lens would prelude the optical and physical design specification for the Voigtlander 58mm 1.4 SL2, released in November 2007. Where Topcon cameras were considered the pinnacle of 1960s SLR camera technology, the RE Auto Topcore 58mm 1.4 is frequently referenced as the preeminent standard prime lens of its time. Bessler instructional literature would succinctly state. The crowning touch to the Topcon system is the range of superior Topcore lenses, 
noted for their fine optical design, superior lens characteristics, and general top performance under difficult shooting conditions. When adapted to Sony's 60.2 megapixel A7 of 4 full-frame digital camera, the top core 58mm 1.4 lens image resolving performance is excellent, for aperture settings falling between f2.8 and f16. Comparing favorably to modern professional lenses, center sharpness and contrast at aperture settings of f4 and above, is uniform and consistent. At 100% magnification, image corners show little deviation in sharpness or contrast, with any perceptible variation corrected with only minor light trim adjustments. At aperture setting f1.4, center and corner image rendering is soft, detail is obscure, and contrast is notably reduced. At f2, center sharpness is marginally improved. Corner sharpness remains compromised through f2.8. Image rendering performance objectively falls short at wider aperture settings. The top core 58mm 1.4 lens exhibits minor barrel distortion. Uniform in radius and appearance, an application of 6 points distortion correction in Lightroom will adjust for linear horizontal and vertical misalignment. Romanticized notions of a specific lens, or brand's unique color rendering, are mostly dispelled when lighting variables are eliminated, and capture settings aligned. Under controlled lighting conditions, with white balance and ISO settings matched, the top core 58mm f1.4 lens color rendition is perceptually accurate, neutral, and consistent across all aperture settings. When referenced against modern professional lenses, the top core 58 1.4 exhibits minor color cast variants, with tones minimally skewed toward yellow and green. Principally attributable to discoloration of the lens coating, accurate color rendering can be achieved with only minor corrections to the blue and green channels within the curves adjustment layer. Optical vignetting occurs naturally, in all lenses. Illumination falloff is unavoidable as light rays at the periphery of the lens, travel longer than those in the center. The top core 58mm 1.4 lens exhibits strong vignetting at the widest 1.4 aperture setting, requiring up to two stops corrective exposure adjustment at the periphery. At f2.8, the effect is significantly reduced, and effectively eliminated at aperture settings of f4 and above. Lens light dispersion is impressively controlled, across all aperture settings. Longitudinal chromatic aberration and lateral transverse chromatic aberration is perceptually absent. Minor magenta color fringing at wider aperture settings is visible under extreme magnification. Undetectable under normal viewing conditions, any identifiable color aberrations can be eliminated fully in post-processing. Chromatic aberration for light sources positioned at the corner of the frame is visible at the 1.4 aperture setting. Stop down to f4, the effect is reduced, but not eliminated. At f5.6 and above, aberrations are masked by optical diffraction. At aperture setting f1.4, specular highlights render circles uniformly and consistently in the center of the frame, with minimal distortion. Elliptical cat's eye bokeh is evident, toward the periphery of the frame. Stop down to f2, minor edging of the highlights becomes apparent under strong contrast. At f2.8 and above, bokeh transitions to hexagonal, and rendering becomes uniform throughout the frame. Spherical aberrations are impressively controlled, evident from linear light gathering across the circle radius. The transition from in-focus composition to out-of-focus elements at wide aperture settings is sublime. Claimed to exhibit an almost dreamlike quality, falloff is seamless and linear, focus delineation is perceptually absent, and there is a sense of diffused softness in rendering. Halation is the spreading of light beyond an object's intended boundary, characteristically forming a fog or bloom around highlights and the edges of a light source. At aperture setting f1.4, blooming of highlights is evident. Images captured with the top core 58 1.4 lens, take on an almost ethereal quality. 
stop down to F2, and the effect is fully constrained. Flaring occurs when direct or stray light reflects off internal lens elements, aperture blades or the camera sensor. Flaring can lead to glowing artifacts, patches of haze and low image contrast. It can also be used intentionally for artistic and creative effect. The Topcore 58mm 1.4 lens exhibits prominent flaring at the 1.4 aperture setting. Stop down, the effect is reduced, but not eliminated. Ghosting and reflections are pronounced. Strong veiling is evident for light sources outside the lens field of view. Veiling is marginally reduced through fitment of the lens hood. Sensor flare is not obvious. It is an infrequent occurrence when a manufacturer produces a lens that is truly special. Weather result as a whole proves to be far greater than the sum of its parts. The Topcore 58mm 1.4 may be said to be such a lens, exhibiting unique qualities that cannot be measured in a lab or with reference to MTF charts. In 1963, Topcon led the field in 35mm camera technology and Topcore lens design was years ahead of its competition. Renowned for its optical precision, and instrumental in the implementation of improved ergonomic functionality. Today, the Topcore 58mm 1.4 lens is revered by enthusiasts for its eminently characterful rendering, its exceptional build quality, and sublime tactility. At aperture settings of f2.8 and above, the Topcore 58mm 1.4 lens resolves images with impressive clarity, sharpness and contrast that compares favorably and indeed surpasses many modern high-end lenses. Distortion is controlled and linear and chromatic aberrations are perceptually absent. Aesthetically, the Topcore 58 1.4 must surely be a contender for being among the most beautiful lenses ever made. As evidenced, it was a design copied by Cassina some 40 years later. And yet, from a purely technical assessment, deficiencies abound. At aperture settings below f2.8, images are rendered soft, sharpness is wanting, contrast is muted, and strong vignetting is apparent. Flaring is subjectively excessive, and halation is unconstrained at f1.4. The lens design is inherently prone to accumulation of oil on the diaphragm blades, aperture ring ball bearings are known to bind, and Topcon rubber focus rings commonly exhibit signs of severe degradation, deformation, tackiness, and cracking. Further compromised, the exceedingly long focus throw will prove a hindrance in obtaining critical focus on fast-moving objects. There is no de-click aperture function for video application, where the ceiling is absent, and there is no electronic communication between the lens and camera body. Modern cheaper lenses, with lens profiles computationally adjusted in camera or post-processing, will likely produce sharper and perceptually more uniform results at wider aperture settings. However, it is these deficiencies that serve to underscore the essence of what makes collectible vintage lenses unique and distinguishes them from clinical modern lens rendering. Where scientific analysis and MTF chart reviews would seek to criticize low resolution, low contrast and a lens's propensity to flare. For vintage lens connoisseurs, such attributes translate as characterful, natural, dreamy and artistic, and are highly desirable. In Japan there is a saying, Anatagashite iranara, anatawashite imus. Befitting of the Topcore's reputation, it translates as, If you know, you know.